Witnesses say Jason shot Teresa in front of their daughter. She doesn't believe it. She doesn't believe her mom is gone. I don't believe it. Hello, it's your girl, Mimi in the middle. And today we're unwinding from the middle with an Instagram influencer who was fatally shot by her husband. Y'all come on and follow me and I will meet you there. It seemed to be a happy marriage, at least when it started. But in recent weeks, that relationship deteriorated, according to Teresa's mother. She wanted to leave him, but he wasn't accepting it. Um, he tried to control her with with everything, you know, where she would go, what she would do. Earlier this month, Teresa filed for a temporary restraining order. The victim in this case, Teresa, was doing what she needed to do to stay safe. She was taking the steps that we would ask her or anyone would, would, would say to her to take. In court documents, Teresa described terrifying behavior. On December 6th, she wrote that Jason continued to make threats of killing himself in front of me and my children. He took me alone to Waikiki and held a knife to his neck, traumatizing me and scaring me. They try and take control over the situation through fear, intimidation, and uh, this is what this, this man did. But Teresa also said the TRO wasn't to punish him, saying, quote, I'm doing this to protect myself, my children, and to hopefully get him the help he needs. I guess they, she wanted marriage counseling and he never let go. And I thought that there was a chance at reconciliation. And now to hear this, my heart breaks. Jason Cachuela's attorney last saw both of them at a court hearing on Wednesday, in which Jason was granted visitation rights to their eight-year-old daughter every other weekend, starting this holiday weekend. Whether it's Christmas, whether it's just another day of the week, it, it is so heartbreaking for children. And, and uh, I never saw this coming. And I've been doing this a long time. Witnesses say Jason shot Teresa in front of their daughter. She doesn't believe it. She doesn't believe her mom is gone. I don't believe it. This abuser in this case took not only the ultimate control over the life of the victim, over Teresa, but he then took the life, his own life, as the ultimate form of control. Thanks for meeting your girl in the middle. Please, middle family, if you are experiencing any type of domestic violence, please call the national number that's provided. Thank y'all and have a great day. If you will, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that, not that notification bell. Did I say hit that notification bell? Beat that notification bell and make those awesome comments. Until next time, little family, thanks for watching.